A car is travelling along a straight road with a maximum speed limit of 110 km per hour. However, the car only reaches a maximum velocity of 108 km per hour. The velocity of the car v meters per second after t seconds is given by the equation v of t is equal to 18 times the square root of t plus 1 minus 18. For part a, we're asked to determine the initial velocity of the car in meters per second. So we're going to evaluate v of 0, and we can use a CAS calculator to help us do this. On the CAS calculator, go into the main menu. Now, because we're going to be using this rule a fair bit, we're going to start by defining it. So first of all, we're just going to type it in. So it's 18, then we can bring up the keyboard and use the square root. And instead of t, we'll put x in, and we'll just have x plus 1 under the square root sign, and then we'll have subtract 18. And then we can highlight that rule and go interactive, define, and instead of the function name being f, we can go into abc and change it to v of x to represent the velocity. So now that's done. So for part A, we want to evaluate V of 0, so we can drag that down and replace X with 0. We find V of 0 is 0. So from the CAS calculator, we found that the initial velocity is 0 metres per second, which we can write as metres, and then S negative 1. For part B, we're asked to find the maximum velocity of the car in metres per second. So currently we know that it reaches a maximum velocity of 108 kilometres per hour, and we need to turn that into meters per second. So we can do that by multiplying by a thousand, so that changes one kilometer into a thousand meters, and then dividing by 60 times 60, and that will change the per hour into per seconds, because there's 60 minutes in an hour, and then 60 seconds in each of those minutes. So on the calculator, we can type in 108, and we can multiply it by the fraction, and the fraction we were multiplying it by was 1000 over 60 times 60. And when we hit execute, we find that that is equal to 30. So from the CAS calculator, we find that that is equal to 30 meters per second. For part C, we're asked to calculate the amount of time in seconds it takes for the car to reach its maximum velocity. So what that's actually asking us to do is solve V of T is equal to 30. So on the calculator, we can solve V of X is equal to 30 by typing that input in, and then we highlight interactive equation inequality solve, and we're solving for x, and pressing OK gives x is equal to 55 divided by 9. So therefore, from the CAS calculator, we found that t is equal to 55 divided by 9 seconds. For part d, we're asked to determine the distance travelled from t equals 0 until the car has reached its maximum velocity. So that distance travelled is equivalent to x, if we're thinking about the variables we use to describe acceleration, velocity and displacement, or position. And that is equal to the integral between 0 and 55 on 9, which is how long it takes to reach its maximum velocity, of v of t dt. And that's because the area under the velocity curve is equal to the distance travelled by the particle or car. So going into Math 2 on the keyboard, we can find the integral symbol. And here is where we can type in our terminal. So we can go from 0 to, and it's 55 on 9, so I can drag that into that top position. And then it's for the function v of x, so I can just put v of x in here with respect to x. And hitting execute will evaluate that, and we find that it's equal to 950 divided by 9. So from the CAS calculator, we found that that is equal to 950 divided by 9 metres. And finally, for part E, we're asked to determine the average speed of the car in kilometres per hour from t equals 0 until the car has reached its maximum velocity. State your answer correct to the nearest whole number. So the average speed is equal to the distance travelled over the time taken to travel that distance. So for this particular question, the distance travelled was 950 divided by 9, and the time that it took to do that was 55 divided by 9. So the fraction we had before was equal to the distance, which was the 950 over 9, divided by the time taken, which was the 55 over 9, so we can put that on the bottom line and hitting execute gives 190 divided by 11. So from the CAS calculator, we find that that is equal to 190 divided by 11, and that is currently in meters per second.
So to convert that into kilometers per hour, which is what we want, we need to multiply that by, this time it's 60 times 60 over 1000. So that will convert meters per second into kilometers per hour. And then we wanted to take that fraction and multiply it by another fraction, which was 60 times 60, all divided by 1000. And that was to convert it from meters per second to kilometers per hour. And that gives us 684 divided by 11. And as a decimal, that's 62.18. And from the CAS calculator, we found that that was equal to 684 divided by 11, which is equal to 62 kilometers per hour to the nearest whole number. So that's the answer to part E.